Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah guys hope you're doing well and today I want to give you some very good tips on how to be productive this Ramadan now the first tip is to start to time block which is a very well known time management tip where you have a proper timetable and follow it structurally throughout the day and this allows you to put everything you want to do within the day into exact time slots now the second tip is literally related to what exactly do you put in your timetable now my best advice is to have a mix of Quran Islamic studies in general finances in other words the job that you're doing the work that you're working and uni and school studies if that applies to you family time and perhaps some sort of workout or something to take care of your body even if it's at least two times a week and you can choose whatever time now tip number three is to not eat too much for iftar now this will make you feel sick and taraweeh will start to become harder for you to do i'd rather eat a bigger suhoor sometimes than eat a big iftar to be honest because after suhoor i can relax and go to sleep or as after iftar i have to literally prepare to go to the masjid and perhaps work out even after taraweeh and and all of this will actually become harder if you're fully fully stuffed now tip number four is to use every time possible that you have within your day to do good deeds if you're walking do your adhkar say subhanallah alhamdulillah la ilaha illallah say astaghfirullah say subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanallah al azim these are all ways to get a huge amount of good deeds by doing almost nothing so you're doing such little things and Allah Azza wa Jalla rewards you with such a great reward so definitely do this while at work or whenever you remember whether you are you or whatever it is throughout your day try to keep your tongue moist by remembering Allah Azza wa Jal and by doing your adhkar now for the last tip and tip number five is to spend time with family and friends and this is a month for us to love each other even more for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal and to keep on pushing and become a better version of ourselves and for that to happen staying with our loved ones will allow us to have that positive mindset and it's going to keep us going and it's just such a nice thing you know spending time with your family and the whole ramadan vibes the fact that you eat iftar suhoor with the family is actually that time in the year where for many families it's actually you know you're much much closer simply because you're less likely to work and you're more likely to be at home and spend time with the family you go tarawih together and then there is eid and it's such a big big blessing you know and you want to capitalize on this month and use it as much as you can to get the most amount of rewards but anyway guys I will end the video here bi idnillah. Keep me in your duas. And if you do need anything from me or from my company or anything at all, please message me on Instagram. I don't really reply on any other social media. Whereas on Instagram, I'm actually a little bit active. So please do message me there if you need anything or you have any questions in general. But other than that, guys, do keep me in your duas. And I hope you found this video beneficial in one way uh, or shape or another. And yeah, just keep in your du'as guys and I'll see you in my next video. Take care and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.